We'll guide you through how to fix your MacBook not turning on. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super stressful, so let's get in some fixes. My MacBook is open, but it's not turning on. So the first thing you want to do is go and find its power button or maybe the fingerprint scanner button, and you want to go and hold that down. So this is where the button is on my MacBook in the top right. Hold that down and your MacBook should go and start. Now go and wait. However, if that doesn't work, let's get into the next method. Now, what you want to do is go and grab its charging cable. Of course, plug one end into a power outlet and make sure that's switched on. And then you want to go and grab the other end, which I've got here. And what we're going to do is go and plug this into the Mac as you usually would, as your Mac may have just run out of charge. So all you want to do is go and plug it in like so. It should shortly light up. Now your MacBook may automatically boot up like so. If it does, then great, that's gonna have gone and fixed your problem. However, after you've got unplugged it in, you may then need to go and hold on the power button again, as we did in the first method. If that still doesn't work, then just wait till five to 10 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer, to let your MacBook charge a bit. And then you want to go and hold down the power button. So there's a few little variables there, and that will depend upon the situation. If your MacBook has an Intel based processor, then what you could try doing is resetting the SMC. Mine doesn't, so I won't cover that in this video. However, if you're finding that your MacBook is sort of booting up to a blank screen as such, what you want to do is first of all, shut it down again by holding down the power button or the fingerprint button. After it's shut down, then all you want to do is go and hold down the power button like so, or the fingerprint button. It will go and start up, but you continue to hold it. Do not release. Continue holding for startup options. Once it says loading, release. In here, click on options and click on continue. Select your user and click on next and you can sign in. Then what you can do is click on disk utility and click on continue. Select your drive and you can go and click on first aid. And then what you can do is run first aid on this and it'll hopefully go and fix your problem. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.